All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're back with another Fortnite tutorial on Pixlr and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how you guys can make a Fortnite banner for your Twitter account. This is more of like an abstract kind of banner so I know that it's probably not for everyone. I just thought that I would let my creative juices flow and try to make something that's a little bit different than like the normal design that I see other people make. Now I actually spent the time and designed this pattern myself in Photoshop so that you guys can use it for Pixlr and I also tried to make this tutorial a lot more easy for you guys because I know the last one was a little bit of a long video and I know it was pretty in-depth as far as like effects and a lot of that stuff so I'm gonna be trying to make these as easy as possible for you all so you guys can make these yourself I know a lot of you guys watching are younger and maybe just don't have as much experience in any graphic software as other people so if you guys could go ahead and hit that like button and also hit that subscription button I would really really appreciate it I've been putting a lot of work behind the scenes into making these videos possible so I just really appreciate all the support on the last few videos as well it really means a lot to me we still haven't crushed that 100 like goal on one of these videos yet so if you guys could hit that 100 like goal i would really really appreciate it and i think that's enough talking for the intro i'm just going to go ahead and briefly show you guys what it actually looks like on my twitter account now i'm definitely not a fortnite uh like competitive player or anything so i probably won't keep this like as my banner because i'm just kind of like a content creator but i thought this looked like way better than i thought it was going to look like on a actual like twitter account personally i think this thing looks sick i think it looks really cool i really like how i did the background but again as usual the top link in the description will be a download for all of the assets that you guys are going to need for this project now if we double click on here it's actually a twitter banner so we're not going to need any kind of template like we needed before for the youtube banner but we've got the font again which is the same font as burbank big condensed essentially the fortnite font i just couldn't find a cleaner font in my personal opinion but i just think this one works perfectly fine for what we're doing i've got the twitch logo in a full black which i did in photoshop i got the skull png and both of these are pngs by the way i made them transparent for you guys so you guys have, don't have to do it yourself we've got the skull we've got the background we've got the render we've got everything we need right here so go ahead and download it in the top link in the description and just move it all to your desktop before we even like get started into it it's going to be so much easier if you guys just download it all first and then i have the abstract background that i actually designed just for you guys i might have to do this background in like multiple different colors so you guys can like make a banner like just specifically on like what colors you like and then you guys can use like a different colored render to actually like match it but that's going to be like probably a future video i'll do all that stuff in the future but for now we're just going to rock with the black and white the monochrome vibes which i actually kind of really like but i think that's enough for the intro let's go ahead and just hop into pixlr all right so as you guys can see here we're in pixlr as you guys can see here we have the full project that i have already gone ahead and done and as you guys know just like the last tutorial i'm going to be starting over from scratch and showing you guys how you guys can make it for yourself custom for your guys's name and everything you guys need but just to show you guys we got the render i've got all the effects added we've got the three skulls we got the name we've got it kind of like blended into the background which i think looks cool we got the twitch logo blended in we got the twitch.tv slash ice kicks which will have whatever your username is and yeah i think it looks pretty clean as you guys can see here it's not too many layers so it shouldn't be too hard of a tutorial today for you guys so we're gonna go ahead and go to create new in width we're gonna put 1500 or 1500 and then for height we're gonna put 500 and then we're actually going to choose a background this time and we're going to choose white which is actually just the default and we're going to hit create now i will show you guys in a little bit the reason as to why i did a white background but let's just continue on with the tutorial so first we're going to add the background that you guys see in the thumbnail now we're just going to hit layer add image as layer and we're going to go to that assets folder that you guys should have and we're going to double click on the background now it should automatically fit in as you guys can see here now if we hide this as you guys can see this is a white background behind so i'll show you guys in a little bit why i have that but next we're going to focus on just getting all the images in that we need i'm going to hit layer add image as layer i'm going to go ahead and grab that 3d render and then i'm going to hit edit free transform and i'm actually going to hold shift while i make it smaller so i don't mess up that the shape of this png at all so we're going to drag this into position i'm going to put it right about actually it's a little bit big compared to what i had in the thumbnail but we're going to put this right about here now let's go ahead and cut out the background so if you guys take a look here let me bring up my twitter by the way if you guys want to follow me on twitter just at ice kicks guys do you want to follow me i'll follow all you back as you guys can see here there's white on this side so as you guys can see the pattern kind of cuts off behind her on this left side 
I thought it was kind of a cool design. I didn't want like the background to be like overdone throughout the entire banner. So how you guys can do this, and this actually kind of explains why I have white as the background layer. So if I actually click on this abstract background and I go to the erase tool, which I believe is this one right here. Now what we're gonna have to do here and make sure you guys have this the same as I do, we're gonna go to brush and we're gonna make sure softness is at 0%. So there's absolutely no softness. We're gonna go size down to about 30 and just make sure that the softness is at zero and you guys should be good and make sure opacity is at a hundred percent so now we're make sure we're on that background images and we're just going to start erasing all this stuff on the left because we just don't need any of it and i just think it looks clear without it and i'm just going to make this a little bit uh bigger maybe around 58 so it's just a little bit quicker but as you guys can see, it cuts out the black, but since there's a white background in the like behind it, um, it actually just kind of just cuts out the black. So it's kind of just a little trick I learned just from doing like Photoshop as long as I have. But we're just gonna cut all this out because we do not need it. And then it kind of gives that effect that it cuts out at the character, which I think looks pretty cool in my opinion. And we're gonna click that out. And then I'm just gonna get rid of this little part right here. There we go. I think that looks pretty clean. Now let's go ahead and focus actually on the 3D render and making it look a bit better than it does normally. Now, as you guys know, we're going to click on the PNG right here and it's just named one. I actually don't know the name of this skin in particular, but as you guys know, we go to adjustment, brightness and contrast, and we're going to give it a little bit of contrast just to make the colors pop a little bit. And we're probably not going to touch brightness, but I'm actually going to add, and I'm going to show you guys a couple other filters that do give it a little bit better of a look. We go to filter, and we're going to go to glamour, and glamour actually just gives it a little bit more depth, kind of like the contrasted. We're going to drag it to about 20, 21, 22, and we should be good. Now we're just going to add a little bit of a drop shadow. I believe I just did filter drop shadow, and I actually have it on offset and offset about here so it's kind of like on the left side of it because i do think it looks better on the left side i'm gonna do opacity and i think that looks just about good there and drag the opacity a little bit down you guys can mess with this however you want just kind of however you guys like it and now we already have the background we already have the skin we're gonna focus on the skulls that you guys see in the left side of the actual banner we're gonna go ahead and hit layer add image as layer I'm gonna go ahead and find this skull that I've already made a PNG for you guys. And we're going to drag this down a little bit. I actually don't wanna do that. Drag this down a little bit. And I'm going to make sure I had this just like I had the actual banner here. So I'm gonna drag it about here. And all you have to do is take that skull and drag it underneath the 3D render and you get that behind effect right there. Now we're gonna take this skull, we're actually just gonna click on these three dots and we're gonna click duplicate. And, oh, I don't wanna do that. We're actually gonna lock the uh, 3D render so I don't actually end up messing with it at all. But we duplicated this so there's another one behind it. And we're gonna take this one and we are just going to angle it a little bit, make it a bit smaller. And that looks about good there. And then we're actually gonna take that skull again and duplicate it one more time. Rotate it a little bit that way, make it a tad smaller and fit it in right there. As you guys see, it's already coming together. I think it's already starting to look pretty clean myself. Now let's focus on the text, which is gonna be a little bit of the tricky part, probably the hardest part of this uh, tutorial in general. But we're gonna go to the text layer here. We're gonna click, we're gonna click add. I click your font again you guys can use whatever font you want i'm just going to use this one because it is my favorite font ice kicks so we're going to double click it i believe i want it on italic there we go then we're going to go to size here i'm going to drag the size about the size i had it in the thumbnail i believe it was just a tad bigger that's looking about good, right about there. So we're gonna grab the ice kicks or your name, because I'm sure you guys typed your name in there. Um, we're gonna drag that underneath the 3D render. First, we need to actually unlock it. Drag it underneath the 3D render. We're gonna lock that 3D render again. And this is where it kind of comes to the tricky part. What you guys actually need to do here is click on the text layer. We're gonna go to styles and we're gonna go to outline. And what you guys can actually do here is choose the outline color, click on it, and then just click on the white 
click OK. And as you guys can see here, it kind of creates a little bit of a border around it. Now we're going to click out of that and we're actually going to go to the eraser tool. It's about right here. And we're going to click on the abstract background. And I'm going to just erase some of this stuff in between. And as you guys can see here, it gives it way cooler of a look in my personal opinion. We're going to kind of get rid of some of the extra stuff. Don't really need that one. I don't want to slip it off that one a little bit all right so now that we got the text on i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to get the twitch logo and actually put your twitch link in here as well again if you guys stream on a different platform um probably like youtube i think youtube's like the only other streaming service really like available other than twitch just make sure to go on the internet find a png of the youtube logo and then just slap the youtube logo on there instead of the twitch logo and do the same things i do i'm guessing if you guys stream you're most likely on twitch which is why i'm using twitch as an example so to get it we're gonna go back to the selection tool um, I don't need to click that. We're going to click layer, add image as layer again, and we're going to choose the Twitch logo right about here. I'm just going to drag this down a bit. And I'm going to drag it down to make sure we got it right about where the thing is right about here. And this is might be a little bit of a tricky part for you guys, but you're going to make sure you want to be clicked on the Twitch logo, which is just named black. I should have just named it something else, but make sure you clicked on it. We're gonna do edit and we're gonna do free distort. And this actually allows you to kind of like tilt the image instead of just transforming it and like scaling it bigger or smaller. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab this corner and we're gonna angle it a little bit, kind of like the text. We're gonna grab this torn corner and we're gonna angle it a little bit by the text. And then we're gonna click out and we're gonna click apply and yes kind of like tilted version of the Twitch logo. I feel like it matches everything else a lot better when it is like that. Now, all we need to do is add the twitch.tv slash your username. We're gonna go to the text tool. We're gonna, oh, that's not one I want. Text tool, we're gonna click on here. I'm gonna click add. I'm gonna go to twitch.tv. Oh, that's not it. Dot TV slash ice kicks. Again, put your guys' username in here for yourselves. Um, I'm gonna actually going to that is a bit a bit big. We're gonna dial this down a tad. Um, it's gonna be hard to kind of grab this layer, but I'm gonna dial this down to about right here. About size 60 if you guys want a reference. Again, I'm going to make this italic. We're gonna go to settings, make this italic just because I do think it looks a bit better. And I'm also gonna go to styles after that. I'm gonna go to outline. And again, I'm gonna add that white outline just by clicking on the white and clicking okay. And we're gonna click out of that. So now that we've got it, we're gonna kind of like erase a little bit like around the actual name here. I'm gonna click on the abstract background. I'm gonna go again to the eraser tool. I'm gonna make this brush a bit smaller so I can kind of get in those smaller um, areas here. And I'm just gonna erase some of the uh, stuff in between the letters here. I don't want that. I don't need that. I don't need that either right here. And I think we are about done with this banner. Now I'm going to go over the save process again quick, just so you guys know. We're going to click file, save. We're going to go to JPEG, drag the quality up. We're going to click download. And then we're just going to go here and just click open, show folder, and just drag it to your desktop. So I think that about wraps up today's video. If you guys like this video or it helped you out at all, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button and also drop a comment and subscribe to the channel. So I did say last video that I was going to be choosing someone from the comment section to actually make this banner for. Now, unfortunately, I already made this banner before I actually made the video, so I couldn't like replace the name for this video. But I'm gonna choose someone now to go ahead and make for the next tutorial. I'm just gonna choose someone random from the uh, comment section of my um, YouTube banner tutorial. I gotta scroll with my eyes closed. Uh, Lunar Astro, if you are watching this video, man, make sure to go ahead and hit me up on Twitter or DM me on Instagram. I will try to reach out to you, so check your DMs. The next Fortnite tutorial, I will put your name and I will make it customized for you. So make sure to hit me up on social media. And also, if you guys want to be featured in one of the next tutorials and you want free graphics, make sure to go ahead and drop a comment on this video just saying hi or just saying like you want a, ba a banner or a thumbnail or something like that. Whatever design you guys want. Again, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the support. I will catch you guys in the next video on the channel. Thanks for watching. Peace.